Hey guys, welcome back. It's HD, the Simple Aquarius. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how long does it take for for chlorine to degas from your water. Meaning, if you kept certain amount of water in a bucket just to do water change another 10 hours or 12 hours or 24 hours or even 48 hours, does it have enough time for the chlorine to degas? So I know many of you have kept uh, water and then you will you did your water change after that and your fishes were having some issue but let's see what, what actually gives you the issue or is it enough time for your chlorine to degas from your water. In On top of chlorine tests, we also will be doing the dissolved oxygen test. I'll be using a salifer test kit to check whether our oxygen level will reduce the longer we keep the water in the bucket without uh, stirring. And for the um, chlorine test, I'm using salifer test kit as well uh, because it's much more accurate compared to the generic test kit even the instructions are, are not so clear you can get that. yeah not so clear so I will not be using this as comparison and lastly the pH of the pH of the uh, water as well so does the pH drop I know I've read many thing many uh, articles that the pH will usually drop, but I don't know whether the degree of drop will be significant on this test or not. So but I will give it a test and you guys can see in the results. Because uh, recently there are many of uh, many cases that um, after using water cap for a few days or one day, uh, there are still some people having issue with the fishes. So I thought of making this video just to see what actually goes wrong or what actually can go wrong or is there anything wrong with our our chlorine, our oxygen level and our pH level. So let's get on with the tests and I hope this will help you guys and if it does please you know what to do smash the uh, subscribe button like this video as well and share this information with your friends. So let's get on with the results. Okay guys test number one is the when I fill up my bucket with the pipe tap water direct with tap water I took the sample for day one and test and did a chlorine test on it so here is the results that I got from day one uh, that means from the first uh, five minutes of uh, filling up my bucket so uh, remember this uh, this sample of water is direct for my tap and naturally all most of the tap water around the world chlorine um, contains uh, chlorine or chloramine so here is the results of the chlorine test for day one so roughly i'm getting around 0 0.5 uh, ppm so anything above 0 0.1 ppm will it will kill your fish within few hours uh, minutes to hours so of course safe is zero but anything above 0 0.1 will kill your fish in few hours to minutes to few hours depending on your fish so here i got 0 0.5 ppm so next uh, let's move to the dissolve uh, oxygen uh, test from direct from the tap okay guys in the second test i will be testing the dissolved oxygen from the same uh, source of water that i collected in my bucket for the first five minutes from the tap water so here we, we have to be very careful while conducting this test because one if we oversteer it or, or press or push the syringe or too hard or steer the stir the test kit, test test tube too hard the results will vary so we need to be very careful by slowly doing things so that we don't really steer and get an inaccurate inaccurate results of the dissolved oxygen oxygen so in this uh, Oxygen, uh, dissolved oxygen test, um, uh, average fish will, will live between uh, 5 to 10 uh, ppm. So in this test results, we managed to get uh, 8 ppm uh, according to the color here, which is, as you can see in this video. Uh, so 8 pm is a safe uh, zone we can use. So let's see after 24 hours whether this value change or not. And also the chlorine level will change or not. So next we will see the uh, pH of the tap water so we can compare after 24 hours whether the pH will drop or will increase. So let's get on to the next test. 
for the pH test, um, this is the result we got. Roughly, my tap water is around 6.6 .6 to 6.8 uh, pH. So, uh, this is for 5 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes uh, right after we collected the water in the bucket from the source of tap. So, let's test, let's check the results after 24 hours. Yes, here is the test results on uh, chlorine test which I did on my 24 hours age water. So uh, basically, we are, if you can see the results, we are still getting 0 0.1 ppm in the water which I kept for 24 hours. So guys, that means 24 hours is really not a good window to assume that uh, chlorine will degas from your age water. So I hope you guys keep this in mind and we will discuss more after this uh, end of this video guys so this results is for dissolved oxygen after 24 hours so as you can see there is no changes it's still 8 ppm so it's safe to say that the oxygen level will not really affect if you kept your water for 24 hours and for ph i tested as well there is not much changes in my ph water i did not test my hardness but my ph did not change after 24 hours okay guys after 48 hours i retested the chlorine test uh, and I managed to get below 0.0, .0 ppm and um, for the dissolved oxygen I'm still getting around 8 or maybe slightly less or between 6 to 8, 7 but the pH still remains the same around 6.6 .6. Hey guys, so after, the, after looking at the test results I'm, a, I'm a, amazed or I'm, I'm surprised as well that I thought it only took 24 hours to degas the chlorine or the chloramine out of the water but it seems that I still managed to get 0 0.1 uh, ppm after 24 hours, roughly about 25 hours actually. So you guys make sure don't forget to use the anti-chlorine no matter how long you guys kept your uh, aged water for water changes. And uh, one more thing I'd like to add also um, that I did test the uh, dissolved oxygen and also the pH uh, until 72 hours, that means three days above, the results were pretty the pretty same. You can if you refer the chart that I will place uh, somewhere here in the chart. You can guys can see the chart. So basically, it's still the same. So um, once again, guys, don't forget to use your anti chlorine and stay safe. Keep it simple. And if this video helped you or gave you some information, if you like it, please uh, hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends share this knowledge and everybody keep your fishes safe and stay safe